Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to multiply um, two numbers together and ask the player for, a, for an input. Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to create um, an input box. Okay. So, using this um, the text tool, I'm going to select the input box and I'm going to draw one out here. Um, and then I'm going to give it a name, txt for text box, um, player answer. I'm um, going to keep this show um, show border down for selected so when we take our mouse off we can see it. Uh, I'm going to create two dynamic text boxes uh, in the same way. Um, one is going to be called A in variable uh, because we need the other one we used uh, the instance name for the dynamic text boxes we're going to use variables. Um, I'm just going to copy that make that box a little bit smaller and copy and paste it. Um, I'm going to call that one B. I'm then going to call get two static text boxes uh, for the multiplication sign. Uh, copy that. And one for the equal sign. I'm just going to move everything into place. So the text box is called txt player answer in the instance name. The dynamic text box I've got one called A, one called B. The static text boxes don't need a name. Um, okay, I'm going to create an actions layer, uh, and in that actions layer, I'm going to set up the first few bits. So I'm going to say A equals um, math dot round, uh, math dot random. I'm going to times it by 10, so it's in the figures from 1 to 10. Close that one. I'm going to do the same for B. Control C, Control B. Right, B. I'm then going to just check, uh, I'm going to set up a, a, the real answer. I'm going to call this one a global, okay, because we need it to be accessible to all the frames within our uh, within our um, Flash project. Okay, so global, um, and then real answer. Uh, equals a multiplied by b. Um, just to check with what the real answer is going to be, I'm going to trace real answer equals plus real answer. Um, if we run this now, we should. Oh dear. Oh, make this is a good uh, lesson. Make sure that you use the same. Um, uh, variable name. I put a space in there, which is why it kicked up an error. The uh, the actual real answer doesn't have a space, so this should work now. Okay, so the real answer of nine times six is fifty four. Okay. Uh, next step, I'm going to create a quick button. Um, so I'm just going to use a circle. <coughs> Give it a make it a movie clip and uh, call it MC um, check answer. And in that, I'm going to go to actions, and in here, I'm going to use the on clip event, enter frame. I'm then going to use the on press uh, this dot on press um, equals function brackets curly braces. Then going to compare the real answer to the player's answer. Okay, So this is where we use an if statement. Now if, you write in if, open the brackets, and then you put in the condition. So if real answer equals, double equals means a comparison. If you use a single equals, it means it's going to set it. So for, if you're doing a comparison, you do two equal signs. It's very important to remember that. Equals uh, txt uh, also, underscore root dot player uh, txt player answer dot text. Okay, so I'm now I'm comparing the two. Um, if it's correct, then we trace and we say, "Well done." Close the uh, close curly braces. Else, okay. So if that condition isn't true, then we're going to trace and say. Um, Incorrect. Close the brackets. Close them again. And close them again. 
Okay, so now when I run this, the real answer is 10, so I can type in 10. If it's correct, it will say it's well done. If it's not correct, then it will say incorrect.